problems involving set or this is the application of the Venn diagrams well Venn diagram is very important or very useful especially in organizing different informations in such problems let's try number one in a survey among 64 grade 7 students, the following information were gathered. 45 have Facebook accounts. 49 have Twitter accounts. 42 have both Facebook and Twitter accounts. First question, how many students did not have any social media account? Second, how many students have Facebook accounts only? We're going to solve that using the Venn diagram. Notice that in our given or in our problem, we have two different categories. We have the Facebook accounts and the Twitter accounts. That's why in our Venn diagram, we have two circles. Let us name the first circle be the Facebook category and the other circle is for the Twitter so working backward tayo so let's give in a binanggit I 42 have both Facebook and Twitter accounts so saan natin nilalagay si 42 meron daw siyang Facebook at saka Twitter so ito ay maliwanag na nasa intersection ng dalawang set. So, isusulat natin si 42 sa intersection nilang dalawa. Second information, 49 have Twitter accounts. So, sa Twitter, may 49 daw ng students. So, yung 49, inalis natin dun sa intersection. So, 49 minus 42, that is 7. So, isusulat natin yung 7 ngayon dito. Ito lang yung mga isudyante na may Twitter accounts lang. Next, meron tayong 45 have Facebook accounts. So, 45 minus 42, that is 3. So, 3 yung lalagay natin dito. 60 grades, 64 grade 7 students have surveyed. So, dapat ang total natin sa ating diagram ay 64. So, i-add na natin yung mga isudyante na nandito. So, 3 plus 7, that is 10, plus 42, 52. So, 64 minus 52, that is 12. So, yung 12 natin ngayon ay nasa labas. Bakit nasa labas? Yan yung mga isudyante na wala silang Facebook account at wala din silang Twitter account. Proceed tayo ngayon sa questions. How many students did not have any social media accounts? So, maliwanag na yan yung na, nasa labas ng dalawang circle, which is 12. Next, how many students have Facebook accounts only? Facebook accounts only. So, ganun yung pag-solve gamit ang Venn diagram kapag meron tayong two categories. Paano kapag meron na tayong three categories? In a survey of children who watched three different Walt Disney animated films, the following information was gathered. 39 children like Inside Out. 43 children like Zootopia. 56 children like Moana. 7 children like Inside Out and Zootopia. 10 children like Inside Out and Moana. 16 children like Zootopia and Moana. 4 ch children like Inside Out, Zootopia, and Moana. 6 children did not like any of the shows. Question number one, how many students were surveyed? Number two, 
how many like Inside Out only? Number three, how many like Zootopia only? And number four, how many like Moana only? So in that case, we have three categories. We have the Inside Out. Let's say our first circle is the Inside Out. This is our Venn diagram. Second will be the Zootopia. Zootopia. And third will be the Moana. Working backwards, we're going to start at the bottom. Six children did not like any of the shows. So, ayaw niya sa kanilang tatlo. So, ilalagin natin siya sa labas ng mga circles. Ayan. Second, four children like Inside Out, Zootopia, and Moana. So, gusto niya silang tatlo. So, ilalagin natin siya dito sa intersection ng tatlo. So, four daw yan. Nakuha. Next. 16 children like Zootopia and Moana. So, gusto nyo lang ng Zootopia at Moana. So, ito yun. Zootopia at Moana. Pero since meron tayong 4 dito, dun sa 16, ilalas natin si 4. So, ito ay ilalagay na lang natin ay 12. Kasi 12 plus 4, 16. Next. 10 children like Inside Out and Moana. Inside Out and Moana. 10 daw yun. So 10, ilas natin dito sa intersection nila na 4. So 10 minus 4, 6. Next, 7 children like Inside Out and Zootopia. Inside Out and Zootopia, 7 daw sila. Kaso may 4 na tayo dito. Three na lang susulat natin. Next tayo. 56 children like Moana. 56 ang may gusto kay Moana. So sa 56 na yun, nilalas natin si 6. So 50 na lang. 50. So susulat natin kay Moana. 56 daw. Ilalas natin itong mga nandito sa intersections. Minus 6, minus 4, minus 12. So, 56 minus 6, 50. Minus 4, 46. 46 minus 12, 34. So, sulit natin dito si 34. Next tayo kay Zootopia. 43 like Zootopia. Zootopia, 43. Ilalas natin yung mga nasa intersection. Minus 3. Minus 4. Minus 12. Solve natin. 43 minus 3, 40. Minus 4, 36. Minus 12, 24. Sulod natin dito si 24. Next, 39 like inside out. So, 39. So, sa inside out, ilalas natin, inside out, 39 minus 3, minus 4, minus 6. Yung mga nasa intersection. 39 minus 3, 36, minus 4, 32, minus 6, 26. So, sa so 26, ilalagay natin siya dito kay inside out now. First question natin, how many students were surveyed? So, ilan daw lahat ang na-survey? So, i-add na natin lahat ng number natin dito sa ating Venn diagram. So, kay... Kay Moana tayo, alam natin na kay Moana, ang nasurvey lahat kay Moana is 56. 56, add natin si 24. 
So, 56 plus 24 plus 3 plus 26. Then, yung nasa labas na 6. So, ilan lahat yan? 6, 12, 15, 19, 25. So, 5, carry 2. 2 plus 5, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 11. So, 115. So, all in all, 115 lahat ang na-survey. Next, how many like inside out only? Inside out only, so there are 26. So, 26 for inside out. How many like Zootopia only? So, there are 24 for Zootopia only. And, how many like Moana only? So, there are 34. Yeah. So, again, let's have your exercises in the application of Venn diagram. The question is, a survey of 60 people was taken and the following results were seen. 12 customers drank only tea and coffee. 6 customers drank only juice. 29 customers drank tea. 2 customers drank only tea and juice. 10 customers drank tea, coffee, and juice. 33 customers drank coffee. And one customer drank only juice and coffee. Now we're going to answer letter A, B, C, and D. For letter A, how many customers drank only juice? How many customers drank only coffee? How many customers drank only tea? How many customers did not drink Juice, tea, or coffee. So obviously, we have three events. We have tea, juice, and coffee. Tea, juice, and coffee. If you want to solve the problem, then you can pause the video. Then let's check your work after you are done answering. And now let's check your work. Let's go back in our given. 60 people. And the following was seen or were seen. 12 customers drank only tea and coffee. So we're going to put 12 in the intersection of tea and coffee. Where is tea and coffee? Tea and coffee. So this is 12. Okay. Next, 6 customers drank only juice. Only juice. So we're going to write 6 on the part of juice only. So we are done here and in this given. 29 customers drank tea. So we will go back in this given because we don't have enough given in our Venn diagram. Number uh, fourth given, two customers drank only tea and juice. Intersection of tea and juice. Tea and juice. There are two. So we will write two here. Next, 10 customers drank tea, coffee, and juice. Intersection of the three events. So there are 10. Tea, coffee, and juice. 10 here. We are done, done. 33 customers drank coffee. So since we don't have given or we don't have yet the intersection of juice and coffee, let us 
go back in that event later. One customer drank only juice and coffee. Juice and coffee, so what? Okay. So since we have enough given for our intersections, let's go back to the two other given. 33 customers drank coffee. So the total for coffee is 33. So we need two less intersection. 12 plus 10, 22 plus 1, so 23. 33 minus 23. So this is 10. So we're done here. Next, 29 customers drank tea. So for tea, we have 29. So we need to less the given 12, 10, and 2. So 12 plus 10, that is 22 plus 2, 24. So 29 minus 24, this will be 5. Since our events are now completed, now let's check the total. So add, okay, let's start with the T. 12 plus 10, 22 plus 2, 24, plus 5, 29. So for the T is 29. Plus 1, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. Plus 6, 46. So the total in our three sets is 46. There are 60 people who surveyed. So 60 minus 46. In our, uh, outside our givens, data will be 40. Because we have a total of 60. So 46 plus 14 is 60. Let's answer questions letter A, B, C, and D. A, how many customers drank only juice? Juice? So there are six people. Six customers. Letter B. How many customers drank only coffee? Coffee. So 10. Letter C. How many customers drank only tea? Tea. So there are 5. And last. How many customers did not drink juice, tea, or coffee? Did not drink. So there are so we're done and I hope that you get four out of four that is good if you made it or three out of four just be careful in writing in our Venn diagram because this is very important if you have a mistake here, then of course all the remaining questions will be wrong also. Thank you for watching this video and please share to your classmate. And of course, watch our next video. The real number.